Gamesmaster is a British television show, screened on Channel 4 from 1992 to 1998, and was the first ever UK television show dedicated to computer and video games. Origins Gamesmaster began when Jane Hewland, formerly of LWT, who had set up her own production company Hewland International, took an interest in her son's love of video games. She put together a pitch for a show that would translate the excitement of games playing into watchable television. It was Channel 4 that became interested in the concept and Green lit the production. However, because it had been pitched as a competitive event program, the show was always under the jurisdiction of the sports department amongst shows such as Football Italia, Horse Racing and Kabaddi. <laughs> Format and hosts Although it featured game reviews, most of the show was about challenges where game players would compete against one another for the title of Games Master Champion. Contestants who were successful at their challenges were rewarded with the coveted Games Master Golden Joystick trophy. Dominic Diamond usually presented the show with Sir Patrick Moore appearing in pre recorded inserts as the Games Master. During these challenges, Dominic was joined by a host of commentators. These included Derek Lynch, Kirk Ewing, Julian Rignall, Rick Henderson, Dave Perry, Tim Boone, and Neil West, amongst others. For the third series, Dexter Fletcher became the main presenter. This change was criticized by fans, who saw the new host as over the top, and too, in your face. To balance this, the production company dropped all other co presenters and gave UK Games champion Dave Perry a regular co presenter slot on every show. Fletcher was better known at the time for having played an American character called Spike in the ITV drama series Press Gang. Topic review segments From the very first episode, Gamesmaster included reviews of forthcoming titles. In an attempt to give the show some authority and get the gaming press on their side, as well as eliminate the need for extra staff to review games, the reviews featured a host of magazine's journalists from the publishing house EMAP. This meant the show could pool the collective opinions of magazines like Mean Machines, CNVG and Ace. However, by Series 5, it was decided that the reviews would be better presented by two of the show's co-commentators, namely Rick Henderson and Dave Perry. It brought a much-needed stability to the format and some interesting banter between the reviewers. Series 6 also featured Rick, who was now joined by Ed Lomas, while Series 7, due to time constraints and Dave Perry having resigned from the show's cast after complaining on air about being set up during a Super Mario 64 challenge, employed two of its own research staff to present the slot, including Richard Pitt. <laughs> Relationship with the games industry Prior to Gamesmaster appearing, games companies had very few TV shows on which to have their titles featured. UK broadcasters had shown sporadic interest in the scene, normally confining coverage to segments within Saturday morning children's programming. From time to time, news programmes would report on one of the very successful British games studios, but in contrast to programming involving films and music videos, there was no regular showcase for video games. Gamesmaster was first broadcast in 1992, during the fourth 16-bit console generation, after the launch of the Mega Drive, but before the SNES. Sega's success in the early 90s with both the Master System and Mega Drive, as well as the huge hit game Sonic the Hedgehog helped cause a video game console boom in 1991, bringing gaming into mainstream UK culture, which would only increase following the arrival of consoles with 3D graphics such as those found on the PlayStation. That Gamesmaster regularly drew in audiences in the millions proved that there was a huge and so far untapped audience. Despite competition with specialist gaming magazines, the show managed to secure several exclusives over the series, showing games that were months or even years away from being finished. Because Gamesmaster was largely a challenge-based show, games studios could, for example, present a single level to be used for these competitive segments. Blast Core is one example of a game that was demonstrated long before it, or even the Nintendo 64 that it played on, were released. Occasionally, game studios made levels specifically for use on one of the challenges. 
Shiny Entertainment were one such studio when they put together a special level of Earthworm Jim. Though this worked out well for both Game Studio and the show, the experience was somewhat soured when this code ended up being leaked on the Internet. It is believed that the only way for this to have happened is that one of the staff on the show must have had links with online ROM crackers. It led to a great deal of embarrassment and likely upset the trust that existed between the producer, Shiny Entertainment and their publisher, Virgin Interactive. <laughs> Games Master sponsorship McDonald's, the 9th of September 1993 to the 10th of January 1995. Topic: Series 2's cold opening. For Series 2, the show began originally as in Series 1, except for it was plagued by numerous apparent technical faults, a ruse on the producer's part. The please do not adjust your set. Warning that appeared as a hint to this, with the first challenge being an as yet unshown Marble Madness challenge the contestants' name and town are partly obscured over a technical fault, meaning this was also part of the joke. As the challenger was coming to the podium, the program crashed, rebooted, with the new series opener, and a Street Fighter II challenge, the cast acting like the short segment preceding the new challenge had not happened. Every series following Series 2 had the original series closing moments portrayed in the series itself as the previous set being deconstructed in some manner. In the final series, the set was literally dismantled and the studio closed down over Dominic's final words. Each location the series was set in, a plot device occurred after Auntie Marisha blew up the newly pine fitted kitchen at the end of Series 2, causing the oil rig to be evacuated. Dominic Diamond was later revealed to be burnt to death while trying to escape, giving way to Dexter Fletcher to present Series 3, when in reality Diamond left the show. Diamond would later return in Series 4 onwards in Hell and then in Heaven for Series 5, continuing on from his whereabouts after his death in Series 2 although the opening title sequence of the fifth series offers an alternative, death, with Diamond being run over by a bus and flat lining while in hospital. He then fell from heaven in the opening credits to Series 6 continuing a bit of continuity there, but that was dropped for the Series 7 titles where Diamond traveled to the island setting of Series 7 during a dream sequence. <laughs> Demise Prior to Gamesmaster leaving UK television, there had been a crisis of confidence in games television over at rival channel ITV. Their children's department had commissioned another video games show TIGS to accompany Bad Influence. Then, one series later, they pulled the plug on both shows, deciding that there was no demand for games coverage on their channel. Gamesmaster was not affected and continued with success. In 1998, towards the end of production for the seventh series, the show was looking set to be recommissioned, viewing figures were still strong, and the show was finding a new audience, benefiting from the emerging PlayStation culture with the success of Sony's console bringing gaming into the mainstream. The production was also more oriented towards actual games players than the first few series, which had been decidedly light in feature content, and no longer poked fun at nerds and geeks, as it was young adults and not children and teenagers who appeared on the show. Indeed, they and the publicity seeking celebrities were now the subject of jokes. It is believed that Dominic Diamond, along with the show's producers, wanted to make a more adult program that would air in a late night, more mainstream time slot. Series 8 was going to be set on a pirate ship with buxom wenches as the Golden Joystick Assistants. There was also talk of a spin off show being made that would seek to emulate the U.S. talk shows of the time. Whether this would have meant a program that focused far less on games is unknown. No confirmation exists that any pilots of this concept were ever made. Channel 4 did not see the potential of a gaming show for an older, adult audience. However, changes in senior staff at Channel 4 were responsible for taking the show off the air. The new head of Channel 4 was Michael Jackson, who had worked at LWT at the same time as Jane Hewland. The two never saw eye to eye. Alternatively, having been the head of BBC Two, Jackson may have wanted less entertainment programming on Channel 4. The first series of the show was repeated on Challenge in 2003, but no further episodes have been shown. Challenge thought the show was, "...too dated", and, 
the games being played wouldn't stand up today. Topic: <laughs> Broadcasting spin-offs. Several gaming shows were commissioned by Sky One in 1993 from Hewland International, one of which was Games World. Due to this close relationship with BSKYB, Hewland International were even successful in convincing them to launch a whole new channel dedicated to gaming, computers, the Internet and technology. The Computer Channel launched in 1996 for only BSKYB subscribers, appearing for just two hours every night. Originally, the only gaming show was Game Over, made by some of the same production team as GamesMaster and Games World. When the Computer Channel was relaunched as TV in 1998, other shows began to start covering the gaming scene. These included Gear, Road Test, X Machina, and also Games Republic. The latter show was closest in style and tone to Games Master, featured a themed studio set, studio challenges, and the irreverent presenters Trevor and Simon. Though the show did not include any features or VT content, as it was a question-based game show based on video games, it was produced by Games Master and When Games Attack producer Johnny Finch. The series unfortunately came under fire from fans after several questions asked in the show had incorrect answers, infuriating several contestants over the series, for example, poorly researched questions about the Dreamcast's online capabilities, and characters from Tekken. Dominic Diamond returned to games television first as an interviewee in the 1999 documentary Games Wars, in which he commented that boys getting turned on by Lara Croft was tragic and «desperately sad». He then returned to presenting in 2004 with a show on Bravo, called When Games Attack. This program was largely feature-based and contained plenty of Dominic's trademark humor. Prior to its broadcast, Dominic featured in a sizable Edge interview, with his longtime producer Johnny Finch. Both of them were quite vocal in stating their contempt for other shows about video games that were doing a bad job. Though it did also feature minor celebrity challenges mainly football players and glamour models, there were never any head-to-head -head competitions. To date, Bravo has yet to show a second series. However, in November 2007, a repeat of the only series to date was aired. In 1999, the BBC filmed two pilot episodes of a new TV show franchise dedicated to video games titled Bleeding Thumbs, with Gamesmaster's Rick Henderson as assistant producer and initial commentator. The series would have run between 1999 and 2000 alternating with the hugely successful Robot Wars, hoping to emulate the success Gamesmaster achieved in the process. Two pilots were filmed and were hosted by Dermot O'Leary and Kate Thornton, and then Terry Alderton accompanying Thornton. The commissioning editor decommissioned the show, claiming that, People want to play games, not watch them. Gamesmaster was also the first UK show to feature the sport of robot fighting in a news item, which at the time was on local public access television in the US. Hewland International worked for several years to translate the sport into something for UK viewers. Though they never succeeded, another production company, Mentorn, were able to get their show concept Robot Wars picked up by BBC Two. <laughs> Magazine In 1993, Future Publishing began a tie-in magazine, also called Gamesmaster, which as of today is still published, unlike the official website for the show which shut down a few weeks after the show ended headed up by its editor-in-chief Robin Alway. In the May issue of 2010, Alway announced that Future Publishing were looking into reintroducing the program to British television, and promised that he would keep the readers of the magazine informed of any future details. Series details and celebrity guests Asterisk This was the same set as used in the Red Dwarf episode Justice, and the final episode of the 1992 television series remake of The Tomorrow People, in which the main star Christian Schmid was also a challenger on this series of Gamesmaster. Series 1 Episode 1 John Fashionu Episode 2 Gary Mason Episode 3 Annabelle Croft Episode 4 Eric Bristow Episode 5 Jimmy White, Archer McLean and Ashley Paisk 
Episode 6 Pat and Mick Episode 7 Wrestling, featuring Kendo Nagasaki Episode 8 Pat Cash and Emily Cash Episode 9 Barry McGuigan Episode 10 Emlyn Hughes Topic Series 2 1992-1993 Episode 1 Tony Slattery Episode 2 Frank Bruno Episode 3 Vinnie Jones and Nick Picard Episode 4 Rory Underwood Episode 5 Take That Episode 6 Jim Duggan Episode 7 Shadow and Jet from Gladiators Episode 8 Christian Schmid Episode 9 John Parrott Episode 10 Richard Norton Episode 11 Johnny Herbert Episode 12 Todd Carty Episode 13 Bob Hallness Episode 14 Linford Christie and Colin Jackson Episode 15 Ian Wright Episode 16 Mark Wingett and Hugh Higginson Episode 17 Kathy Dennis Episode 18 Ulrika Johnson Episode 19 Vic Reeves Episode 20 Gordon Burns Episode 21 East 17 Episode 22 Josie Lawrence Episode 23 Tony Daly Episode 24 Steve Backley Episode 25 Duncan Goodhue and Arm Wrestlers Episode 26 Kevin Conway and Sean Curley Series 3 1993–1994 Episode 1 Mortal Kombat which featured both Daniel Pessina and Elizabeth Malecki who were both dressed as their respective characters, Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade. Episode 2 Gabrielle Episode 3 Gladiators 1 Shadow and Falcon Episode 4 Gladiators 2 Cobra and Scorpio Episode 5 Gladiators Final Shadow and Scorpio Episode 6 Utah Saints Episode 7 Steve Punt and Hugh Dennis Episode 8 Sean Maguire Episode 9 Moni Love Episode 10 Nigel Ben and Barry McGuigan Live Episode Episode 11 Donnie Bear Episode 12 Liam Botham Episode 13 Footy 1 Vinnie Jones vs Les Ferdinand Episode 14 Footy 2 Dennis Wise vs John Barnes Episode 15 Footy 3 Vinnie Jones vs. John Barnes plus a young Simon Amstel Episode 16 Christmas Special with Frank Bruno, Mike Doyle, Lorraine Chase, John Altman, Robin Asquith, Wayne Morris, Robert Duncan, Graham Bickley and Ray Marr Episode 17 Games Mistress Episode 18 Simone Robertson Episode 19 Chris Akabusi Episode 20 Andrew Paul and Lisa Jogan from The Bill Episode 21 Ronnie O'Sullivan Episode 22 Randy Savage Episode 23-2 Unlimited Kevin Keegan guested in The Consultation Zone Episode 24 Crash Test Dummies Episode 25 Bad Boys Inc. Episode 26 Gamesmaster Team Championship Final Topic series 4 1994-1995 Episode 1 Frank Skinner with Richard Divizio as Baraka from Mortal Kombat 2 Episode 2 Bruce Roberts, Dan Falzen and Sarah Vandenberg Episode 3 Jimmy White Episode 4 PJ and Duncan Episode 5 Andrew Cole vs. Casey Keller Episode 6 Vinnie Jones vs. Andy Townsend Episode 7 Casey Keller vs. Andy Townsend Episode 8 Ian Kelsey vs. Camilla Power Emmerdale Stars Episode 9 Rupert Rupert Moon and Dewey Morris Episode 10 Let Loose Episode 11 C.J. Lewis Episode 12 Marcus Alexander Bagwell and Del Wilkes Episode 13 David Coulthard Episode 14 Christmas Stars Special Episode 15 Roger Black and Duane Ledeo shown at 5. 35 p.m. Episode 16 Prince Nassim Episode 17 Natalie Imbruglia Episode 18 Gore Special shown at 12.35 a.m. Topic Series 5 1995 1996 
Episode 1 The Shaman Episode 2 Jadine Doran Episode 3 Stephen Hendry Episode 4 Donna Eyre and Vicki Taylor from Biker Grove Episode 5 Stuart Wade and Tanisha Geronimo from Emmerdale Episode 6 Dean Holdsworth and David Kerslake Episode 7 Phil Babb and Graham Lasso Episode 8 Dean Holdsworth and Phil Babb Episode 9 Johnny Herbert and Mark Blundell Episode 10 Cobra and Panther from Gladiators Episode 11 Ronnie O'Sullivan Episode 12 EYC Episode 13 Wigfield Episode 14 Patsy Palmer and Dean Gaffney from EastEnders Episode 15 Christmas Special – Highlights from Previous Series Episode 16 Mr. Motivator Episode 17 Stuart Lee and Richard Herring Episode 18 Janet Gers Series 6 1996–1997 Episode 1 Samantha Fox Episode 2 Danny John Jules Episode 3 John Regis and Tony Jarrett Episode 4 Paul Lation Episode 5 Uri Geller Episode 6 Richard Rufus and Michael Dewberry Episode 7 Chris Armstrong Episode 8 Richard Rufus and Chris Armstrong Episode 9 Christmas Special – The Gamesmaster Christmas Quiz Episode 10 Zoe Ball Episode 11 Deepak Verma Episode 12 Bear Van Beers Episode 13 Tracy Shaw Episode 14 Adam Holyoke and Phil Tufnell Episode 15 Paul McKenna Episode 16 The Brotherhood Band. Episode 17 Jean Band. Episode 18 Michael Fish Topic Series 7 1997–1998. Episode 1 Joe Guest. Episode 2 Khalif. Episode 3 Boxers Ryan Rhodes and Khalid Shafiq. Episode 4 Saul Campbell and Christian Daly. Episode 5 Emma Harrison Christmas Special. Episode 6 All Saints. Episode 7 Sarah Vandenberg and Carol Varley. Episode 8 Catalina Girado Episode 9 Debbie Flett and Emma Noble Episode 10 Compilation Lookback Show The Final Episode